हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दैट इज फिजिक्स वाली मैडम सो आई थिंक यू हैव सीन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर दैट इज यूनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज यू कैन आस्क मी देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट टुडे द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ योर इलेवेंथ क्लास पार्ट वन बुक दैट इज मोशन इन स्ट्रेट लाइन सो if you are new to my channel then please go through the first chapter then you can start the second chapter that is motion in straight line okay please subscribe my channel comment in the channel and you can share to your friends also so let us begin so here motion in straight line so the motion in straight line it is mainly it comes under the subject called mechanics mechanics is divided into two parts that is statics and that statics is the branch of physics which deals with the object at rest and another one is the dynamics dynamics deals with the object which are in motion the study of objects in motion again dynamics is divided into two that is kinematics and kinetics kinetics is the motion of the object on in which we do not take the path which it has covered without taking the account of its path that is known as kinematics without taking into account the path then here in kinematic kinetics it is the cause is known cause is known okay so this is the basic or the introduction of the motion in straight line so let us go to the next slide so wherein we see some of the definitions in this chapter first one let us see what is a rigid body a rigid body is said to be a body if it has definite shape and size first of all it is a body which has definite shape and size and does not change its shape and size when the deforming forces are applied on it so such type of bodies are ideal hence such bodies are known as a rigid body okay then what is a particle in physics you can see if there is a star or if there is a uh, planet and the planet revolves around the sun so the distance covered by a planet is greater than the dimension of the planet itself or the diameter of the planet itself hence we call such objects as a particle a particle is a point mass so now this planet is also known as a point mass or a particle so comparing the distance how much it has traveled its dimension is very negligible hence we call that as a point mass or a particle then what is the motion an object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to the time and surrounding okay so whenever the body changes its position from one point to another point with respect to its surrounding so for example if you are going to if you are leaving your home this is your home at 
9 p 9 am you leave your home okay and come to the college or your school at 9:15 or 9:20 am so your the position of yourself has changed so the your body is moving from one point to another point and the surrounding also so the surrounding uh, with your in your house to the surrounding with the school has been changed and the time also has been changed so 20 minutes you take to move from your home to your school so that's why it is called as motion and let us see what is rest so rest is the opposite of motion rest is a body is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to time and surrounding so suppose if a lamp post lamp post will be there only okay till the if it is in the morning also it will be there only in the night also it will be there itself okay and the surrounding will be not also changing because it is situated on the earth earth is the frame of reference for the lamp post hence here rest is the body is at rest it does not change its position okay so when you are sleeping on the bed you are at rest you are not moving your body is not moving okay so that even the even though the time is changing the surrounding is not changing so you are at rest hence here it should be with respect to passage of time respect to time with respect to surrounding but even the time passes it is known as rest okay let us go to the next slide let us see now what is frame of reference so frame of reference is nothing but the coordinates okay coordinates so here we have three coordinate system so let us take this as x axis y axis and z axis so these are the coordinate so if there is a particle in xy plane so how much distance away the point is from x axis and how much distance away the body is from the y axis now xy becomes the frame of reference for the particle let us take the particle as p right so now we want if a bird is flying okay if the bird is flying so what will be the frame of reference for this so something a building it may be or a tree from which it is flying so that becomes the frame of reference so there are three frames of reference one dimensional frame of reference two dimension frame of reference third is three dimension okay so there are three types of frames of reference one dimension two dimension and three dimension one dimension is a body which moves along a straight line either in along x axis along or along y axis or along z axis okay any one of the coordinate such body such motion or such frame of reference is known as a one dimension frame of reference if the body is in between any two frames of reference for example a plane a projectile motion projectile motion has two dimensions circular motion has a two dimensions and three dimension is a body which is moving in space so for example the bird flight of the bird the aeroplane moving in the sky so such examples are known as a three dimensional frame of reference okay and another one frame of reference inertial frame of reference and non inertial frame of reference okay. 
Inertial frame of reference is a reference which is stationary or static. Non-inertial is a, a frame of reference which does not, which will be changing. So here, inertial frame of reference is the earth, and non-inertial frame of reference is a vehicle. So vehicle will not be stationary; it will be moving. So such frames of reference is known as the inertial and non-inertial frame of reference. So I hope you have followed till here. Then let us see in the next class. We'll continue the chapter. Thank you. Bye bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it, and if you have any queries or doubts, you can ask. You're free to ask. Thank you. Bye bye.